Hey there, do you need to know how to cock a bathtub or maybe how to cock a shower? Maybe the sealant between your tub and the surround has gotten moldy or it's peeling off or it's just, it's just looking nasty. If that's the case, you might want to watch this video because I really think it could help you out. It's got a lot of great tips in it, especially if you don't want to come back in a few short weeks and have to redo your job. So let's dive into the details. Again, I think this could really, really help you out. Yikes, this cock, it looks terrible. So it's bubbling, it's peeling up, it needs to be removed. It's separating from the tub and the tub surround. And the first tool that I like to use is a straight razor like this one. I like to groove out the bottom of the cock and then the top of the cock and then peel it off the tub surround. One big tip here, you cannot cock over existing cock, so you have to remove any of the old material. Another tool that you can use is a five-in-one painter's tool. And I love this tool, especially if you've got caulk that's deep down in the, in between the tub surround and the bathtub. And again, you wanna groove out the bottom portion that butts up against the tub, and then groove out the top portion that butts up against the tub surround. And then that way you'll be able to pry the old caulk off and pull it with your hand. So, you need to remove all the old material. It's an absolute must. Otherwise, your new cock will not stick to the tub and tub surround. So again, you wanna groove the bottom out, groove the top out, and then when you do that, you'll be able to remove most of the old material. Now, here's another big tip. Make sure you remove all of the old cock from the bathtub so it's going to fall into the bathtub and then use a grouting sponge to abrade the tub surround in the tub itself. I like grouting sponges for this reason because they're, they're just mildly abrasive. Then take a rag and wipe off the surface the best that you can and make sure that it's dry. Now if you notice any old caulk you have to remove it. I mean, you have to be very diligent about this and the surface has to be clean and dry for the new cock to be adhered. Here's a huge tip. Fill up your tub with water. First plug it up, so plug it up at the overflow tube and allow the water to fill the tub such that the water level is right below the overflow pipe. The reason why you want to do this is so that you widen the gap between the tub and the tub surround. It's absolutely critical that you fill up your tub with water before you apply the new cock because what that is going to do is weigh down the bathtub so that there's a bigger gap between the tub and the surround or the tile. And that way you'll be able to put that bead of cock in that larger gap and when you release the water it will squeeze it will squeeze the material in between the tub and the surround and create a really really good seal. And the type of caulk that I like to use is DAP 3.0 because it's specifically for bathroom plumbing. It's 100% waterproof. It's water resistant in 30 minutes. It's mold and mildew resistant. And it has microband in it. And so microband will help prevent mold and mildew growth on a new caulk. Now how, how do you figure out how to cut the end of the caulking tube? This is a question that I get a lot. So what I like to do is place the end of the caulking tube in between the gap, the larger gap that you just created between the tub and the tub surround. And then mark it, mark the end of the caulking tube with a pencil. And this pencil mark's really hard to see here, but what I like to do is cut just a little bit beyond that pencil mark, either with a caulking gun or a pair of scissors. But no matter what you do, make sure you cut the end of the caulking tube at a 45 degree angle because you're going to use the end of the tube to mold the caulk around the tub. So what I like to do is start at the edge of the tub and the surround and work my way inward. And then for awkward shaped tub and tub surrounds, I like to dip my finger in the water that's in the tub and then smooth out the caulk until you get to another point whereby it's a longer run. So as you can see here, I'm slowly pressing down on the caulking gun. And because there's water in the tub, 
it makes it a little bit awkward but what i like to do is stop in the middle of the tub surround and then go to the, the next corner and then work my way back inward using the caulking gun again smooth out the caulk by dipping your finger in the water and then moving in one direction so left to right or right to left but admittedly it can be a little bit tricky trying to use your caulking gun around a tub full of water so just be careful Moving in one direction ensures that the caulk is being pressed into the gap and you're not removing it by moving in the other direction. But if you notice that there are little tiny holes or air bubbles, you can go back and use the caulking gun to add more caulk. Now what I like to do is once I'm done with the caulking process and I smooth it out with my finger, I go back over the surface with a wet towel like I'm doing here. And this just works for me. It allows me to mold the caulk and really get a nice, smooth, and even look without it being messy. So that's what you see here. It's a nice, smooth, and even look. And you'll be left with a really awesome job. So by filling up the tub and then releasing the water from it, what you're going to do now is compress the caulk up against the tub and tub surround and make a super tight water seal. Well, there you go. That's how you caulk a bathtub or re-caulk a bathtub or shower. I think that the, the tips are really timeless and could help you out with your own tub job or your own shower job. And if you think this video help, could help somebody else out, go ahead and click on the thumbs up button. That way they'll be able to see it over on YouTube. And if you haven't already done so, maybe you should also click on the subscribe button while you're at it because you won't miss one of my videos. They come out every single Friday. And if you're a subscriber, you'll definitely be able to see them on Friday. All right, so thanks for joining me today. I really appreciate your time. Again, I love DIY, so <laughs> Maybe these videos will help you out. And if you've got a suggestion or a comment, leave it in the comment section. All right, take care. I'll see you in the next video.